That colony ship's got a story. You can just feel it. Oh, uh, when the time's right, I'd appreciate a chat. to go, baby. And why didn't you get there? I could, uh, send you here when you got a moment.
gotta drop some of that. I could, uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. You know, traveling with you has been something else. But the best part is when we're charting course for the next jump. I never feel at home planet side. How about you? Now that's the right answer there. <laughs> See, the people I don't get are the ones who never go anywhere. They stay in their own hometown, they just live and die there. There's a whole galaxy full of wonder and things you could never imagine. How can they be satisfied with one tiny sliver of it? I mean, you're right, but I think everyone should at least get out once. And go someplace, meet people. Get out of your comfort zone so you can really see that the worlds are more than just little issues and bickering. There is a mess of ugly out there, but my god, there is grandeur too. Never thought of it that way. I want to be the code that finds something deep out there. Solomon got us here in a big way. I'd like to discover something that moves people. Makes them feel just a bit of what I feel when I jump systems. And not knowing what's next. Then you are a glutton for punishment. <laughs> but I do love the way you listen. Yeah, it's funny, as much as Jacob, my dad, cashes in on the family name, he's got no adventure in him. And I get it. It's dangerous, sometimes scary out there. But that's what exploration is. Going off the map and seeing if there truly be dragons. I couldn't ask for better company. Check. Remember, no agricultural products passed here. And hit up the duty free first. Dr. Judith Tatien. The recent delivery from Mars is unsettling. I was expecting rock samples or maybe fossils of microbial life. Instead, Dr. Victor Isa comes with two members of the military. Everything they have brought back is under wraps. What could a theoretical physicist need with a sample from Mars? Station log. Dr. Judith Tatien. I have been trying to cozy up to Dr. Isa. Victor. To see what is going on. His team has completely commandeered one of the labs with those two military hand drives, checking who comes in and out. I joked that maybe he found a little gray man and was doing an autopsy. 
and he grew very pale. Two days later, he sends me a request asking for more information on my background in material science, metallurgical engineering. Oh, we have a meeting tomorrow. I... I think I'm being invited into the lab. Station log. Dr. Judith Satin. I have never been so nervous since I defended my dissertation. Four hours talking to Victor and his team about theoretical metals, atomic bonding, even a half hour divergence into magnetism that I'm pretty sure was just to throw me off the trail of what we were actually talking about. Then I got to see the lab. I, I don't know how much I should say, but the periodic table just got thrown out the window. some of that. I'm hurting just watching you. Bad about the cave, Ed. 